Hello, Strasbourg and others watching this daily devotion today. It is Tuesday, September 1st, 2020. I'm going to start off today reading some very familiar words from the Gospel of Matthew. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain, and after he sat down, his disciples came to him. Then he began to speak and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit. For theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will receive mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward is great in heaven, for in the same way they persecuted the prophets who have come before you. You are the salt of the earth. If salt has lost its tastes, how can its saltiness be restored? It is no longer good for anything, but is thrown out and trampled underfoot. You are the light of the world. A city built on a hill cannot be hid. No one, after lighting a lamp, puts it under a bushel, but on a lampstand, and it gives light to all the house. In the same way, let your light shine before all others, so that they may see your good works and give glory to our Father in heaven. Will you pray with me today? Bless those who are poor in spirit and in life. Lord, in your mercy. Bless those who weep and mourn, Lord, in your mercy. Bless the meek, the humble, and the mild, Lord, in your mercy. Bless those who are hungry for food and for holiness, Lord, in your mercy. Bless those who are persecuted for your name's sake, Lord, in your mercy. Bless all who we lift up today. Lord, in your mercy. And now with the confidence of children, let us pray to God our Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Please hear this song. And as we are in the middle of another week, and as we are processing the news of our world and the protests and the riots, the white supremacists, let us remember that we are called, that we are called to be different as Christians, that we are called to be peacemakers, 
and bringers of love. Goodness is stronger than evil. Love is stronger than hate. Light is stronger than darkness. Life is stronger than death. Victory is ours. Victory is ours. Goodness is stronger than evil, love is stronger than hate, light is stronger than darkness, life is stronger than death, victory is ours, victory is ours, through him who Victory is ours, victory is ours, through him who loved us. May God continue to be with you this day, and may he fill your hearts with joy, and may all that you do be filled with the love of God so that others may rejoice and know God in a better way.